Today, we're going to be talking about proper length and proper time. So what I have here today is I have a measuring tape that I put in my coordinate system on the ground. And I have a clock, which will also stay with me in my coordinate system. Now, meet my friend Bob. Uh, Bob here, he also has a clock and he has a measuring uh, device with him. As long as Bob is not moving relative to me, the time elapsed between two events uh, that Bob is measuring and that I am measuring will be exactly the same as the distance we measure. For example, if we measure both uh, the length of this pen, we both will agree what uh, the length of the pen is. As soon as Bob is traveling, at a constant velocity relative to me, then the time Bob is measured between two events and the time I'm measuring uh, between two events, events will be different, as well as the distance that Bob is measuring uh, for an object, it will be different than the one I'm measuring. Sounds weird, but is like that. It was shown by multiple experiments that this is really happening. Now, luckily, uh, we have the model of special relativity, which allows us to convert from Bob's time and length to my time and length and vice versa. The problem, however, with these equations is that I have to figure out who is actually measuring the proper time and who is measuring the proper length. Now, this really depends on what we are measuring. Let's start with the proper time. The proper time is measured in the frame of reference in which uh, the events that we are measuring happen at the same location. For example, if we're talking about the time it takes for Bob to pass in front of my hand, we're measuring the time from when Bob's head is here to when Bob's tail is here. So in this case, the events that I'm measuring happen here and here. In my coordinate system, this happens at the same place, right in front of my hand that is not moving. So I'm measuring the proper time in this case. And Bob, for him, the events happen once at his head and once at his tail. So for Bob here, he will measure a delayed time, which is greater than the time I'm measuring. If, however, we measure the time that it takes Bob to go with his head from the beginning of my pen to the end of the pen, now in this case, uh, in my uh, frame of reverence, the events happen here and here, so not at the same location, so I'm measuring the delayed time. For Bob, however, the events happen right at his, in front of his eyes, here and here, so in his frame of reverence, the events happen at the same time. Location. So in this case, Bob has uh, the proper time and I'm measuring the delayed time, the time with the bigger numbers. As for proper length, again, it depends what we are measuring. So again, Bob is moving in front of me. The theory says the proper length is uh, the distance between uh, two locations uh, that are not moving relative to the frame of reverence. So, for example, if we measure the length of Bob while he's moving, we're measuring from here to here. These two points are not moving relative to Bob, so he's measuring the proper length. They're moving relative to me, so I'm going to be measuring uh, the contracted length, the number that is a bit smaller than what Bob is measuring. Now, if, however, I, I want to measure the pen that's here on the table, in this case, I'm going to be measuring from here to here. So these two points are not moving relative to me. So I'm measuring the proper length. And for Bob, the two endpoints are traveling relative to him. So he's going to be measuring the contracted length. So, uh, as a little summary, the proper time is measured for the frame of reference 
that the event happens at the same location. So you don't have to look at two different places in order to start and stop your timer, while the proper length is measured in the frame of reference uh, where both uh, ends of the distance that you're measuring are not moving relative to you. So basically you can lie down a measuring tape and uh, no matter how long you leave the measuring tape there, you will always measure the same uh, distance uh, for the two points and it will be no difficulty because they're not moving relative to your measuring tape.